So in this video, I'm going to take a deeper dive into woodpecker.co, one of my favorite cold email automation tools out there. And I've been getting a lot of questions from the other video I made about um, the best cold automation tools out there. And I mentioned a few, Lemlist being great for Omnichannel, but Woodpecker being the best, in my opinion, if you're just focusing cold email, and you don't need other advanced features um, that other tools use, which are also more expensive. So if you're just doing cold email outreach, woodpeck.co is by far one of my favorites and I'm going to dive in exactly why that is. So let's dive in now. So the first thing you should do is click on the affiliate link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. It does help me out quite a bit if you click on it and use that. But also um, in return you get 30 days rather than 15 days free trial with my link rather than going direct to woodpecker.co and also you get up to 500 emails in that free trial rather than um, 150 emails. So the link is beneficial as well for you. Um, so click on that, go there. And basically the reason why I love woodpecker.co is because it's so intuitive and they talk about this here. They have this thing, they call it intuitive and I really agree with this. It is really intuitive, it's super simple. I've used so many tools over the years and I find woodpecker.co the easiest, simplest tool. If you don't really want a big learning curve like how do you do this, how do you do that, this is one of the most, um, just the things you don't really want to be spending your time doing is learning a new tool because you know this can take ages to do and it's a massive time burn. So woodpecker.co, you can just hit the ground running. So this is the first reason why I really love woodpecker.co. It's so simple to use. You can just hit the ground running. The second reason is that it's they don't overcomplicate it with the imagery. I like the cool little white um, UX design and their like cool little pictures and all that kind of stuff. But they keep it really simple. Unlike Lemlist, who's gone, they've gone too far with all the different. Um, emojis and colors and all this kind of stuff. I think they went too far that it starts looking really complicated and it's hard to know where things are and stuff like that. With woodpecker.co, it is super simple way of looking at your results. You've got prospects, delivered, open and responded. And a really cool feature that I like is an, the interest level. So it can actually, it uses AI to gauge whether or not the reply is really good medium or like well, look I'm not interested in top of emailing me so it'll actually um, tell you not only the response rate but like the positive medium or low response rate and that's really cool and so to set up a campaign you just you click on um, campaigns and you get to this really easy to use um, I, again I really like it because you can just click here and you can just see what's going on how many emails you have and the flow and all that kind of stuff so basically you can on the first email if you click that on up it's all in this one place everything's kind of here you don't have to be clicking around to go okay let's schedule the times over here or let's go to another page of it it's all just set up there you can do it really really quickly it's super simple so like basically here is the email you write you write it here hey and you have also all the different snippets that I'll go into in one second but basically it's quite cool on the right here you can t say exactly when you want the email to go out you can say okay I don't want Sundays and Saturdays and I want it between you know working hours for example or you can set whatever you want so that's there it's really simple to do the subject line is there and what's cool about this is that we can now test different versions of the first email going out so we can you know say Version A is, you know, this one. Version B is a short form, just like one liner. And version C is something completely different. And with this, we can also test the subject line. And I would always, always test the subject line to check the open rates between the different ones. And the second thing I'll be testing is the uh, messaging inside it. So it's really easy to do split tests. You can just get version A, version B, and version C. Test the different subject lines, test the different... Um, variables in the email and then just set it to go and see which ones are winning which are not so you can optimize your cold email campaigns really simply another really cool thing is they have snippets i mean a lot of them have this but it's really easy to use so you can be like you know hey whatever and then when in your first line you could be you know you can actually just put in a snippet one so it's like hey um first name right let's put a capital there so it's like this and then snippet one and is basically your first line. So one of the a good way to personalize your cold emails is to have a first line. It's the first line of method. I talk about this in a couple other videos. I'll put a link in the description below. But the first line of method is one of the best ways to get a really good conversion on your cold email because you're adding this first line of personalization. Then the rest of the email can be more generic, more of a sales pitch, whatever. But this first liner will literally um, completely skyrocket your reply rates and meeting rates. The first line, in my opinion, is really important. So basically, what I normally do is that I have a spreadsheet like this, which has the first name, last name, then a first liner, 
and then you have a few other bits. So you, how to write your first line is, I have this in another video, I'll put a link in the description below, it's like a cold email tutorial video. Um, so I'm not gonna go into that now, but what we can do is make the um, first liner uh, column into a snippet. So we can make snippet one, we can associate snippet one with the first liner. So what happens is it will say basically, hey, whatever the name is, hey Phil, and then if it's for this guy here, it will be congrats on funding uh, for the funding last year from Crane Ventures. You guys are growing super quick, right? So if that's your first liner, that will just get put there automatically. Then you go into your sales pitch, which is um, we run we we run this awesome company. We think it can help you in some way, etc., etc., etc. So it goes into that. So basically, you've got a customized first line, which is standard and not enough these days. But then suddenly you have this customized first line, which is what I think is really a game changer of your cold email outreach. You're going to completely skyrocket if it if you're going straight into the sales pitch. We run a company which does A, B, and C, and we're awesome because of these reasons, and we can help you for that that reason. If you go straight into that, you're you know I don't think you're really going to get the uh, really good response rates. There are other per ways to personalize, and I, I have another video about that as well. I put in the link in the description below. It's like different ways of personalizing your cold email beyond just the first line of method. But basically, I really think this is important and you know, they, they make it really easy to do. So then you can have, um, okay, let's make it wait. The next email can go out four days later, for example. And then suddenly you can have conditions, which is really cool. So if you click on this, you can have a condition. If a prospect has opened the email once, then they're going to go to no. They're going to go to the this email uh, flow. Or, but there are different options you can have. Has opened an email, you know, more than. So you can also click more than. If they're show so if they've opened the email more than once and they're showing massive interest, you can say like, okay, if they've opened the email more than two, two times, they're going to get this flow. And this flow is going to be more like direct. Come on now, I've seen you open the email. Let's, you know, do that. Or you can think about what you know what you want to do that. But you can then start sending different flows to different people depending on which way they go. So or the other one has clicked on a link. So if they clicked on a link, you can send a different flow or has, you know, has a snippet of a certain variable. Um, so this actually has different variables. So if it's from a specific company, then you know this is gonna happen. Or if it's from a specific LinkedIn profile, or these other variables, then you can start sending a different flow. So these conditions are really useful and pretty simple to use. So another really cool thing I'm doing with campaigns with my clients is actually I'm using Zapier. So I'm using, I'm zapping leads using Zapier from LinkedIn ads. So I'm getting really high profile um, leads from like CTOs or CMOs or whatever it is, really, really high level, high authority leads from LinkedIn ad lead gen forms. And I'm zapping them to a cold email. So I don't want them to come from my CRM. I want to come to, I want to automate a sales led email, not marketing led, sales led. So these sales led emails, I have another video again about sales led versus marketing led and creating an amazing follow-up email sequence. And the sales led email should be coming directly from your like Gmail, G Suite or your um, Outlook. It shouldn't be coming from your CRM. It shouldn't be too branded. It should feel like you're literally personally writing that email. But you can automate that with, for example, woodpecker.co. And that's great. So I'm zapping them into a prospect list. As a lead comes in from LinkedIn, I zap them. I wait one hour so it looks a bit more real rather than getting the email directly straight away within one second. They first get an email from the marketing-led email from the CRM saying, just thanks for downloading. It's all branded and all that kind of stuff. Then about an hour later, it comes from someone personally in the company. It's like coming from me, for example, going, hey, I noticed you downloaded the um, Gator content piece. Uh, if you how if you want to, um, you know, if you want to talk more about it, if you have any, uh, uh, if you have, if there's any other way we can help, schedule a call. We actually run this really cool company, blah, blah, blah. And then you do like a bunch of follow-ups over the next week or two saying, hey, we're st I'm still here. I'm ready to talk to you. And it's personally coming from, you know, the sales or the BDR. Um, business dev rep or whoever it is, um, it's coming directly from them. We can just zap you that and make it all automated, which is quite cool. So we're not taking the time of your sales reps. They are actually doing all this side of things automated. So they can focus on just replies. When the replies come in, they can focus on following up. They can focus on personalizing LinkedIn messages. They can focus on calling. Um, and they can focus on a lot of other things. So we're saving sales reps a lot of time just by automating that. You can also do it just from you know uploading a spreadsheet 
and doing the snippets and all that kind of stuff, a spreadsheet like this. Um, and you can also add them manually. So I really love the reporting. I, mean, I think really the reporting is so important, but the reporting is where you get a feel for what's going on. So this is a campaign from a real client. This is zapping leads from a, a campaign. We just launched it. We've got 28 really high profile leads, like really from big companies. We're talking like 500 employees plus, like we're, we're going up to the Fortune 500 really famous uh, brands as well. Um, and we've got 28 leads so far. 55% have opened and one has already replied to um, get a meeting with them, which is great because they're sales led. So each meeting they get is high quality, high value because it's from LinkedIn ads and each deal they you know get from this campaign from LinkedIn ads zap to cold email is worth you know tens of thousands of dollars to them. Um, so that's really good and super cool to see that we can also check our A-B test. So if you click here, for example, I have numerous different tests going out. I mean, we've just started, as you can see, I've got four follow-up emails here and um, there are three different tests going on in the first email. And we haven't really even sent them barely any of the leads yet, the second, third or fourth. And a lot of the replies will actually come from the second or third, I've noticed. Um, the majority will come from the second and third. So this is actually quite cool for the first, considering the second and third haven't really been sent out. This open rate is gonna go way, way higher. And this is gonna go way higher as well because we're gonna be following up like two, three, four times with them to get a few more conversions here. So this is this campaign looks like it's gonna be really successful. Um, but as you can see, it's really great with the reporting because we can um, ABC test it all. So here we've delivered this many emails and this is the open rate. So we can see that this is definitely the winner here, 85% open rate, which is great. There's also another thing we're doing here is we're optimizing. So we're trying to learn from the A-B test. So although it says the open rate up here is 55%, realistically, we can actually optimize. This one's kicking ass. So we can go to say, okay, you know, C is just not getting good open rate. So we can change the subject line here. Um, and we know that A is doing really well. So the subject line on A is awesome. It's working out really well. Um, but on the other hand, C had the only response so far. I mean, to be honest with you, what this is telling me is that there's not enough um, data to really go on. There's not enough data. We need to send at least 100 to 200 prospects through this, and then we'll start getting enough data to really understand it. So yeah, that's what that's really telling me. But once we get enough data, we can then analyze and go, okay, you know, this one's winning with responses. This is a great subject line that's working. It's the open rate, but this is the great, the best sales, you know, part of the email and we're getting really happy, you know, no one's being angry or this one's getting angry replies. Maybe we're too, um, you know, we're too forward with the email being too aggressive. So that's really cool. And then here I've got, you know, the flow is there and we can really see, you know, this one, for example, only got one. We've got 100% open rates here and only 33 on this one. So we know now which ones are doing well. And I love how simple this is in terms of just reporting we can just like go to the dashboard and we can quickly glance at it and this is what you want from a reporting dashboard you want something you can go in look at really quickly and get out you don't want to be wasting your time trying to understand the data or what's going on you want to get in and you want to get out as quickly as possible so you can make good business decisions around what you're doing so the reporting is really great the final feature i'm going to talk about is that you can actually see your inbox from the g, g, g suite or outlook you've associated to it. And here you'll actually see the email thread. So you'll see, for example, how many people are interested, how many are potentially later. You can also mark them as these different labels, but it's quite cool. You can just filter the ones that are interested. And did you miss following up with any, or um, you know, which ones responded, which ones are auto replies because they're on holiday or whatever. So that's really cool. And um, you can just respond even within the platform here. So that's kind of useful. I don't use that that much, but I do go, it does just filter out all the emails coming from this so I can just jump into the inbox here and see from this campaign you know if I'm running numerous campaigns or I'm also doing this like personalized outbound I can just go into here and understand what's actually happening from these campaigns so just give me more data points more understanding of what's going on so that's kind of cool so the price is pretty standard like if you go across the board at all the different automation tools they're roughly $59 all of them and they offer pretty similar kind of things so for that price point um, if you want like the advanced features on Lemlist that goes up to like $100, but you can also integrate LinkedIn uh, follow-up. So if you wanna do that, Lemnus might be a better one. Um, but basically, if you, you know, also if you wanna do an agency, if you're an agency, um, you can actually, 
you know, 69 per slot is not too bad because you can charge your clients a lot more if you're doing cold email for them. Um, and the advanced campaigns are, you know, A-B tests. You really need advanced campaigns. You need to be A-B testing everything. 200 a day is actually pretty good. I probably wouldn't contact more than 50. So if you think about that, actually, $49 for 50 a day. You know, my strategy with cold email is always to send fewer emails, like roughly 50 a day, 50 to 100 a day, and make them more, make them more personalized than sending, like, 200 or 500 the limit you can do of G Suite like 500 you know that doesn't really work for me very well so yeah I'm, I would rather send fewer emails highly personalized get higher conversion rates than loads more emails less uh, personalization and lower conversion rates that's my thing that works for me really well so I'd recommend that you can check down the tutorial video in the description link below um, and yeah the final thing is definitely click on the link below because you're going to get as mentioned double the days free and like a lot more emails you can send in that time frame. So instead of 15 days, you get 30 days with my link and you get 500 emails sent rather than 150 with my link. So thanks so much and see you guys all soon.